Hanse Imara says many private Thank schools you, are currently Speaker. failing to adhere to the conditions set for receiving government subsidies. These include providing fully paid scholarships to 10% of learners from disadvantaged communities, which many private schools who benefit from government subsidies are not adhering to. Other challenges include the denial of indigenous children to attend private schools as they do not have Africans or German as a subject in their previous grades. The minister says private schools also charge exorbitant fees despite government subsidies, making it impossible for the majority of the population to access those schools. If the subsidy to private schools is not supporting the disadvantaged and promoting equity, then it may be working against the very principle it was created for and thus should be reviewed or done away with. This exercise is undertaken to ensure that we do not defeat the very purpose of why we provide subsidies to schools in the first place. Regional councils will now be tasked to identify learners from previously disadvantaged backgrounds and recommend them to state-funded private schools. These requirements are not being fulfilled at the moment, and because of staff turnover, the misinterpretation or misunderstanding of the formula and transfers to schools may have resulted in some schools having benefited more than they ought to be. Therefore, the review of the private school subsidy will be subjected to further in-depth analysis by comparing and analyzing the current enrollment at public schools and to compare it to the current unit cost per capita allocated to a learner in private school versus that allocated to the same learner in a public school. Currently, government provides subsidies to 52 private schools in the country as provided under the Education Act, Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Vindu.